everybody and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I talk about my homeschooling journey with my six-year-old twins and my eight-year-old twins. And I just have to say, I am so excited to do this video. This is an extreme, massive homeschool haul. The things that we will be using for this homeschool year, 2020, 2021, uh, I can't wait to share these with you. I only have a little bit because my husband took the kids all out front and we promised them that they can go swimming as soon as I'm done with this video. So they're like, how long are you gonna be? Five minutes? I'm like, no, it might be a little bit more than five minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through all of this stuff and if I can remember where I got it all from, but please know that this is not all stuff that I have paid for myself. Some of these things were given to me from uh, moms who are, you know, have moved on in the next season of homeschooling. Some of them I've gotten from discounts and rewards. So um, just know that uh, I did not buy all of this stuff myself. And hopefully by doing these big hauls, maybe it'll give you an idea of like one or two things that you might wanna add to your homeschooling. So with that being said, let me just tell you a couple more things. The first is I am going to have a name change and that change is going to be starting on September 1st. So on September 1st, you will notice that I am no longer a world of Washaba. I will be called something else. Um, I'll let you know what that is later. I'm just kind of fine tuning it right now. Um, the second thing is, if you are new here, welcome, and I'm so happy that you're here. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the little, um, the little bell that tells you when my new videos come out and give me a thumbs up that helps me to be seen by other homeschooling moms looking for this type of content. And the last thing before I show you everything is that this week is gonna be a really special week. So this video is coming out on a Monday if you are watching it brand new. And then for the rest of the week, and into the next week, I will be releasing a video each day um, explaining all the curriculum that we're using, kind of doing a flip through and review of that curriculum. And I know that you guys like seeing videos like that. I will also be doing a giveaway on September 1st to say thank you to you guys for subscribing and watching and I've hit over 2,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. And also to celebrate my name change that you will find out on September 1st. So make sure that you are subscribed because you don't want to miss that. Okay, without further ado, let's check out what's on the table and on the floor and on the chairs. All right, we're just gonna start over here with these um, plastic bins that I got from Michael's. They were having a huge sale. Plus you get a teacher's discount or military discount on top of that. I don't quite have a plan yet, but I just thought they were such a good price. And I know um, I've had these types of containers before with the lids like this, and they lock so well. And these are um, my favorite, favorite kind of containers. In here, this little thing is not new, this pink thing. I, I got it at Michael's, but it is amazing. Um, but these are all my new washi tapes. And so I'm decorating their folders and stuff in the washi tape so they get to kind of pick out which ones that they want to use. Um, the ones that I recently got, oh my goodness, there's owls. I didn't even notice that. And little cats. But I found some really great summer ones. And they just love to decorate things with washi tape. There's llamas. Then under here... We have their watercolor pages. And again, at Michael's, they were having a buy two, get a deal type thing. And then I had a coupon on top of that. We're gonna be doing a chalk pastel class. If you've heard of it, um, I think it's chalkpastel.com, drawing with Nana. Uh, we won a free month of lessons. And so all I have to do is supply them with the um, paper and the pastels, which I'll show you in a second. So I wanted to get good paper, and I was reading that watercolor paper can also be used well for the chalk pastels. So, And then we have these, again, Michaels was having a great deal. It was buy one, get one free, and of course I had coupons that I could still use. And I like using these papers for them to frame their artwork like you know they could cut out their artwork and put it right in the middle so that then this you know this thing looks like a frame around it or they like to draw on it or they'll cut out a little piece and slip it in a note to somebody and it has all of these extra little 
note pieces, just really fun paper. The selection was dwindling fast. So that's why I got two of the kind of unicorn girly ones because my daughters will be the ones who mostly do that kind of thing. And then this one, there's some good like boyish type ones. My first day of school, the funniest thing about this is that we've already started our first day of school and I have not filled this out. So I need to get on the ball. I only bought one because I didn't want to spend money on four. I will just take a picture of each kid with their thing and then splice the picture together to have them all four in the same picture. <laughs> but it, this one was cool because I it, it's reversible. So my first day of school and then my last day of school. So I thought that would be a fun little memory to make. These I got from, I believe, stay, oh, Office Depot. They were having a sale. These were in their clearance section, I believe. And I just like having little notebooks on hand uh, because I never know what I will wanna use these for. I like to keep one notebook in my car, a small notebook, because I never know when I'll see things or uh, need to remember something and write it down or, you know, whatever. So these were also on clearance. These are just really beautiful little watercolor journals, plain paper inside. And what I typically like to do with these is I have a journal going with each one of my kids and they keep it in their room. And at night they'll either write me a picture, or I'm sorry, write me a note or draw me a picture. And then I'll write something back to them. These ones right here, super cheap from Staples. I got one in all the kids' colors. I mean, that's red, it should be pink, but that's close enough. <laughs> and these ones they're gonna be using for their nature walks. So these are their nature journals. And when we go out, they'll write down what they saw, draw pictures of what they saw. So that'll be a nice little, um, memory for them as well. And then I just got a couple black ones for me because like I said, I always like keeping notebooks. I always want to have notebooks in case we want to do something for another subject. Again, all the color codes are here. They were just having such a great deal on notebooks that I had to get them. Again, these were at Staples. These were at Michael's. They were having a buy one, get one free. And these are my favorite little note cards. They are so cute. They're just blank inside, but they have so many colors and just some very, you know, um, kind of neutral patterns. These are just solid. I'm trying to teach them to make a thank you card to people when we do something or we go to somebody's house or somebody does something for us to just write out a quick thank you, personal card, put it in the mail, and that, that how that brightens somebody's day. So we're gonna be really focusing on that, that this year. Also, especially when we get into jot it down when it comes to, I can't remember what it's called, like letter writing or note cards or something like that. So I have these for them and I think that they're gonna have a lot of fun with that. They can include like a couple little stickers or they might cut out some little birds from here and paste them in there just to kind of dress it up a little bit and maybe decorate it with some washi tape just to make it personal and, and just really brighten somebody's day. We're also doing um, letters to seniors and so we'll decorate it like this as well. Now we get into the games. So I have a bunch of these Professor Noggins. These are my newly acquired ones that are gonna be used, especially this year. So North American Birds, because we're doing Gather Round. Wildlife of North America, that kind of helps with our North America bird one. This one I got because my daughter loves learning about little pets. History of the United States outer space because that's going to be one of our unit studies as well with gather round and also life in the ocean that will also be gather round as well in this family we love games so i always want to make sure that i'm getting you know moving out games or giving them away that we're not using anymore and restocking with new games and we love anything by game right basically there it's amazing so this is zeus on the zeus on the loose and Slam Witch. These were both given to me by uh, my friend Ashley. So she gave these to the kids and we've played Slam Witch and love it. We haven't played Zeus on the Loose yet, but I know we'll love that as well. House of Danger is a choose your own adventure game. This is also a game that you can play by yourself. So I think that this will be really fun to play as well because I used to love these books when I was little. 
Bird Bingo, if you haven't heard of these bingo games before, they are so fantastic. I cannot even tell you how beautiful these games are. They are unlike any bingo game I have ever seen. And we have another one over here, if you can see it. Ocean Bingo, right there. And they have a couple other ones as well. So, so pretty. The next one is Castle Panic. This is also a game that you can play one to six players. And I like that because sometimes they just wanna do something by themselves. And so I like to have games that they can kind of do on their own. Castle Panic. The next one is Cauldron Quest. And I really like these games by Peaceable Kingdom. This one is two to four players, ages six plus, so they can um, play that all of them can play this. This is a cooperative games, cooperative game, meaning we all work together to win the game or we all lose together. So there's no competition amongst each other. Now, I don't mind competition because I think that's very healthy to learn how to win and to learn how to lose. But sometimes it's really great to take that pressure off and just play a cooperative game. So I make sure to have a couple cooperative games, Cauldron Quest. But anyway, I think this looks really fun. Frozen 2 Monopoly. Yay. I have mixed feelings about Monopoly, but <laughs> my daughter loves Frozen so much. So I wanted to get this and then we'll just, we'll just play it together and um, see what they think. Next one, Mice and Mystics. I am so excited to play this one. Now this is a very intensive, long game. You're basically playing the game while reading a story. So as you're reading the story, um, the gameplay kind of follows along in that story and you have your mice and you have your ugh, adorable little pieces. This game is so beautiful. I'm surprised there's not a movie made from this, but I can't wait to, to uh, play this. There's a lot of learning in the beginning, um, but then once you get it, it's super fun. There's also some expansions. We also really love our puzzles. So we have this one, a thousand pieces of the Disney Pixar. And um, this game of life, this was on super, super cheap sale at Target. So I had to get it because I always did like life this is obviously not the original version, but, and I hope that doesn't take too much away from it, but I think they'll have fun playing this. And then we have Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters. This is also a cooperative game. It's everybody versus the ghosts work together to win. And I have heard such amazing things about this game. I just couldn't pass it up with as many great things that people were saying about this. So if you look on this table, you'll see a lot of art materials. We love art, love it. These are so great. These are washable finger paints. And what we do is we, we will get a long roll of paper, which you can see right here. It's just this giant roll of paper. And we can take that outside and finger paint on it or inside, doesn't matter because it's washable. We also use this to roll out and do our wingspan chart for our bird study. But these are so, so much fun. I have these craft shirts. These were from Target, or no, I'm sorry. These were from uh, Michael's. They ended up being a dollar something because they were on sale and I had a coupon. So I just get their favorite colors. I'm missing the pink one. I think my daughter took it. And I just buy them kind of extra big. They throw it on over whatever it is they're wearing so that they are protected. So these are the scratchy books, Unicorn Mermaid stencil art. So when you scratch it with this little wooden stick, it makes color. And then the, the color behind this is all rainbowy. So here could be red, here could be purple or pink or blue. And so when you're making your creation, you see all those colors come through. These are really fun. I got these from the book outlet actually, and I'll leave a link below where you can get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more. These are also just some more blank scratch. Oh, there goes my paint. Blank black scratch pieces and then some stencils for them to use. Then we have our Usborn Magic Painting Books. These are phenomenal too. All you need is water and your brush. And we have unicorns, dinosaurs, um, just woodland creatures. And I have a couple extras for all the kids. 
Down here we have washable watercolors. I love washable art supplies. I have one of these for each kid so that they can't say, they're using my paint or they mix my colors. <laughs> so I got these at Target during the teacher sale and I was able to get a, um, a discount even though I was a homeschooler. And then of course some different brushes. We have, I try to keep many different types of brushes in stock so that they can make different lines and all that stuff. These are blank passport books. And then when we go back to Disney World, because we have season passes and we're visiting all the countries in Epcot, we can fill out our little passport book. So I'm excited to do that. These, I'll just, I'll just get these out of the way. These are gigantic, amazing, beautiful wooden swords made from S.D. Smith, who writes Ember Rising, Ember Falls, and you know, about the bunnies and these are such amazing swords. The quality is fantastic. I actually think they will last and my sons might not be able to break them. I mean, they are just so fantastic. I got these at a homeschooling convention and it's probably one of the best like toys I've ever gotten for them. They are just amazing. These I got, they are amazing Maestro Classics and the uh, London Philharmonic Orchestra. This is Peter and the Wolf. I have the box set, which comes with like eight different CDs and different stories. There's Swan Lake, there's A Soldier's Tale, and these I got on Amazon. They are so good. They tell the story, they play the music, and at the end, they explain the music. And the kids actually really love these. This next one is Adventures in Lettering. My daughter loves to write, and since we're gonna be focusing on note cards this year and making sure we're writing thank you notes and all this stuff, I thought it would be fun to learn how to write some really fun letters. These sketch pads I got every year I get new ones so that we can do our art hub for kids sketching in them. We've already used these for our North American bird unit study. So you can see they've done an eagle there. I think they also did a hummingbird, but these are Melissa and Doug. The quality is great. There are 50 sheets in here. So I think this will definitely last us easily through the year because we'll probably do about 50 drawings. So at the end of the year, this will be full and I will have a great, you know, another keepsake memory. These highlighters we, we use for our Bibles. I'm missing the pink one again. Imagine that. <laughs> these are great. They're also erasable and I have loved these. They are from Pilot. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. So I'll just leave it here for you to see and they came in um, a pack of five, so I'm missing yellow and pink, but we love these for our Bibles. These are from Ikea. We got a chalkboard, I'll show you that in a minute, and so they each have their own little bucket of chalk that I'm gonna put their name on it, again, so they can't fight over somebody is using my chalk, and these were really inexpensive from Ikea. This is the board that we got from Ikea. It's not set up, obviously. This side is the chalkboard. And then over here is the whiteboard. And then when we set it up, there'll be a little tray at the bottom as well. So they'll have a lot of fun with that. Okay, here's our pastels that we're gonna use with our um, drawing with Nana class. I'm so excited for that because they just love learning different types of art. In here, this purse isn't new, but I got these twistable crayons by Crayola. Have you guys tried these? They're so amazing. It's crayons, but they never go dull because they just keep twisting up. So we have a full set in here. Then we have some different drawing books because they're really loving learning how to draw different type of characters. I can draw these are really super basic in here, so even my six-year-olds can really draw these well. Draw right now, this was given to me, and I've always wanted to try a Draw Right Now book, so I'm excited to use that. Manga, this was also given to me. My daughters love cute little animals and cute little creatures, so I thought this would be perfect. And then step-by-step -step drawing dinosaurs. One of my sons is obsessed with dinosaurs, so. That's good for him. And Draw Africa, this was also given to me. I wanna get Draw the USA because right now we're doing USA, 
but I wanted to show this in case you haven't seen these draw books because you start out obviously with one country and then you just add to it. And then by the very end, you're drawing, you're doing a basic drawing of the entire continent. All right, back here we have washable markers. I have a pack of 20 and then, sorry. And then I have a pack of 64 back there. I have Crayola colored pencils. We love our colored pencils. I have a box of black Sharpies because that's what we use to outline our Art Hub Kids sketch in um, our sketch pads. I also got a pack of these. These are Tool and they were uh, cheaper and I wanted to try them out and I really like them. So I might stick with these and I got them on Amazon. Think putty, Aaron's crazy Aaron's thinking putty. I love these. My son, my sons especially, have hands that have to keep moving all the time, all the time. And so I give them these thinking putties and they can just stretch it and play with it and twist it around. And that really helps them be able to concentrate like when we're doing our read alouds. And so I'll just have them go pick out a putty. So occasionally I like to add a new color or whatever to our putty for them to play with. Big sticker book of birds. So this is gonna go with our bird lesson. This is just kind of an activity book, all having to do with birds. Paper birds, these are bird activities. You just punch these out and then you make cute little bird, like, um, can't think of what, to, models, there we go. Paint by sticker birds. I've showed these to you before on my channel. Um, you just find a bird that you wanna do, find the corresponding stickers and match it up with the number on the page. And those are really fun. The kids love doing that. And I have sticker mosaics with cats, sticker mosaics, exotic animals, sticker mosaics by the sea. So we'll use this one when we get to our oceans unit. Then of course, I have to have construction paper. So these, where did I get these? These came from Walmart. They were having a sale on their Crayola stuff. These buzzers I got on Amazon and we use this when we do our trivia, our Professor Noggins trivia, and they love it. Like what kid doesn't like making a sound, right? <laughs> Over here we have little calculators that I got them from Staples. They had all my kids colors, which was perfect. And I'm just gonna kind of give this to them and let them kind of figure out what to do and so they can easily practice their addition and subtraction. And they are really excited about that because it's an electronic and they don't really have any other electronics except for TV. So they're super excited about that. <laughs> All right, Pirates Magnified. This book gives you a little magnifying glass and then you find the things inside. And I know they'll love that. Then I have Castles Magnified and Egypt Magnified. And then these I got at Staples. It's just something that can slip into a notebook of, it's just a map of the world. And then on the other side is the United States. Then this is a window cling. And I got this at the dollar spot in Target. So it's just the United States. And then it has all the states here that they can peel off and label onto the United onto the um, United States map. You might be thinking, of course you have scissors, but no, these are special scissors. I found lefty scissors. At first I was thinking, well, how, how hard is it for him to use my scissors? And then I tried to use some of these and it was so awkward and it hurt my hand. So I was like, okay, here are your special scissors. So he is so excited. I only have one son who is a left-handed, who is a lefty. So these are all his. <laughs> This is Nature Anatomy from Julia Rothman. Her books are so beautiful. We're going to use this for our bird study. And it's just really easy information. The pictures are gorgeous. This one, 10 plants that shook the world. I'm not putting all of our read alouds on here because you would be here for the next five days. But these are just some of our specific books that I got. Uh, this I thought was awesome. I mean, it just talks about different, the story of sugar, boom time for cotton. And then it talks about like corn and potatoes and how all of these things kind of changed our world. 50 things you should know about wild weather. This is another one from 
the book outlet. My son is obsessed with weather, so he does all of this weather stuff on his own, and he just especially loves tornadoes. So along with this for him, we got him this, which is a NOAA weather radio, and so he can program different states and listen to that. So we're programming him the, basically the states and or the cities that are in Tornado Alley so that he can turn this on. He knows how to use this way better than I do. And um, he could definitely tell you more about it than I can, but he loves this thing. He falls asleep with it being on, listening to the weather alerts. It's adorable. These are some Everything Kid books that I got from Book Outlet as well. Everything Kids Scratching Coding book. Everything Kids Astronomy book for our space unit that we're going to do. Word Search, Hidden Pictures, Puzzle book, Maze book, and a kid's cookbook. Because I'm going to, I really want them to focus on being able to cook things by themselves from start to finish. So we're going to go through that book a little bit during, probably during our poetry tea times, which we have every, every other Thursday. These are our three minute gratitude journals. We have the washi tape on the spine so they know whose is whose. And I won't show you what they've written because I want to keep that private, but it's very adorable. We had these last year and so we're starting these up again. And again, it's just a great way to see your child's heart growing and what they're thankful for in the beginning and what they're thankful for at the end. And perler beads, perler beads. Oh, these can be a nightmare, but they can be so much fun. And we have a couple little things right here. There's also some fun um, ones you can print off of Pinterest and they love making these things. But I thought again, we could make a couple of these and slip them into a card when we send our note cards, just something cute and fun to brighten somebody's day. And then these are some just really cool and cute little like grammar books that I found, not necessarily that we're gonna be donating specific time to, but every time I wanna, you know, just read them something funny or sometimes we'll keep one of these in the bathroom or, you know, occasionally I'll see them read some of these. But this is Miss Pell Never Miss Spells. And they give you these fun little ways to remember spelling. And not only spelling, but like it says, more cool ways to remember stuff. So there's uh, fun ways to remember two, two, and two, rain and rain, stare and stare, you know, all of those kind of things, but just really cute little, little ways that I can tell them. The one minute writer, this is just writing prompts. So when they are starting to write in their journal or they get stuck and they don't know what to write about, we can give them something. Vocabulary cartoons, kids learn a word a minute and never forget it. And these are also just fun little ways for them to remember word definitions. And, and then we have our 180 days of reading. My daughter just likes these little reading comprehension books. So she'll probably just do this on her own. This is not anything I'm implementing in our homeschool. Okay, back here we have these thinking tree books. Oh my goodness. These are just amazing journals and this one we're using on our space lesson. This is a tiny little math book I gave my daughter. So she is she can just do these tiny little math problems whenever she wants. This is our reading journal. So we just fill this out after we read a book. And then there's all of these different pages to fill in for the year, all about space, math mysteries. I'm gonna do a separate review video on just these thinking books. These were sent to me. I won them in a contest. So I was able to pick out the books that I wanted and I will definitely be continuing to get these books. This is so cute. So it's this is just a journal for girls and it gives them different things to draw and color and think about. They're so cute. This one is Curious Creatures. This one is Secret Quest. This one is Secret Diary, a book of dreams. And this is another kind of math one, 100 numbers. All right, moving on, we're almost done. A pack of rubber bands, because I never know when I'll need those. These I love, Magic Erasers, Mr. Clean. I use these on the whiteboard. I use these when they draw on the walls or the floors or whatever. This takes everything off. In this is just like a little arts and craft bucket. We have glue sticks, googly eyes, because I always want to keep these on hand, mechanical pencils, 
tiny little books. And then we have the rings. I couldn't find them to put them in here, but I have the little rings that you put around here so they can make little books or flip through things or use these as little extra note cards to dress up and put in our notes that we're gonna send people. These are little award things that I can give out. Now, I've had these actually for a long time. They were from a Becca <laughs> when we tried a Becca for about two months and then gave up but I kept the little awards that were in the back that I cut out because I'm gonna use these for my kids this year just to like, you know, say you're doing a really great job. I'm so proud of you, whale of a job because kids love that kind of recognition. So I'm pulling these out. I just actually found them, so I'm really excited. These are some popsicle sticks because we can make a million things out of these. These little things, they were, um, these were given to me, so I'm gonna find out something to do with those. Owl stickers. Uh, most of this stuff in here was given to me. Googly eyes, more googly eyes. These are little paint brushes. I also have a green and a blue one somewhere that I need to find. Um, little tabs for reading or uh, marking certain places in books. More owl stickers. Uh, felt glue, we have a felt board and we love to do felt projects. Uh, let's see, little, I love these kind of bookmarks. I have a bunch of these, and so I had to get more because I love them. This one is uh, little uh, like tape squares. They're sticky on both sides. So when you do this and you roll it, it leaves a little square stuck to whatever you stuck it to and then sticky on this side. And so then you can do this and then you can like decorate with a picture or something. And so I really love, I really love that. That's about it for in there. Then these clear plastic sleeves. I got four of them, one for each kid. I love these. You can put anything in here and then it's reusable. So if you have letters you wanna put in here or numbers and you want them to trace or even trace a picture, we put the states and the country maps in here so they can trace the map of the, uh, the country and then on the other side, they'll trace the map of the state. So but there's a million things you can do with these. Okay, these I wanted to show you. I have actually had these for a long time, but I always get compliments on them. And so even though they're not new to our homeschool, I had to show you. These are from, I wanna say Learning Resources, and they are the best craft trays ever. We do Play-Doh in these. We do painting in these. We do chalk and pastel. They're gonna do everything in here. And that way it just keeps it. You can clean them very easily. Um, we just haven't cleaned this one, but it wipes clean. So just to show you this, this is about five years old and it looks brand new. If you just clean it right away, they'll just look brand new. And we have one for each kid and they are perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. You can play Legos on them. I mean, anything. So I just wanted to show that to you in case you're looking for something like that. Then we have this camera that I got. This is an Instax, and it's just a little um, Polaroid camera. And I allow them to use this and take some fun pictures during the year. And then they have a little notebook that they can put the pictures in. Over here, we have all of the Who Was books that I have acquired through Book Outlet. I've gotten all of these for roughly a dollar and some change. So I am so excited about that. This, I've never owned one before. And then when I was finding them on Book Outlet for so cheap, I just keep wanting to buy them all. And then there's some Time Twister books that we got. And then I love these YWAM books. Hold on, everything's about to fall over. Oops. And these are the one, um, some of the ones that we're gonna be using this year. C.S. Lewis, Laura Ingalls, Daniel Boone, Clara Barton, and Bethany Hamilton. And this is just introductory, introductory information told in like a poem style. And it's a Heroes of History for Young Readers. I love these. I would love to own all of these. They are amazing. All right, uh, last but not least, the back row here, these are just some projects that we're gonna be doing. All of these are from Amazon. This is Science Whiz Electricity, Science Whiz Magnetism, and so they'll be working on those and pretty much independently. This one, Essential Knots, I want them to learn um, different handicrafts. 
So we're gonna be learning some survival skills. We're gonna start with knots and then we're gonna uh, teach them how to make nets and looming and other some other fun things. Beaker creatures, this is just gonna be fun little science experiments. This right here is a window bird feeder that we put up because we're doing birds right now so that we can watch the birds eat. This one is a mega crystal growing lab. They are so excited to do this one. <laughs> Like so excited, but I opened it the other day to, to try it and I was like, this is really intensive. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait until we get to um, geology or something like that. Then we have our botany experimental greenhouse. We are gonna be doing a unit study on plants. So I think this one will be perfect, obviously. And then this one is another um, kind of crisp, the geodes. So you break them open and then you get to see how beautiful they are inside. And then of course I have these. These are owl pellets and we'll be using these in our bird history or our bird study and seeing if we can find any skulls and bones of rodents in them. And the last thing that I want to show you, we had some of these before, but I got some extra. And I, I want to show these to you because this is a great quiet time. I wouldn't consider it a game, but activity. And it's just these beautiful flowers and stems. It's not quiet now, but if you dump all the pieces out and then start using it, then it's quiet. And you can just put them in any which way you want. And it creates these fun little flowers. So you can decorate all of those different holes. So you, you can decorate it this way, or you have these little um, green bases that you can decorate with. But I, all of my kids have loved it ever since they could pick up these flowers and they still love it at six and eight. So we just had a couple, but I added um, another kit to our box because they have loved it so much. And so this is just like one of the hot commodities when it's time to get a quiet activity to play with. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Put below if you saw anything that you is like a must have for you now that I've shown you everything or put something that you think I might like depending on um, what you've seen me show you. And I just hope that that was enjoyable and helpful for you. Again, make sure that you stay tuned for the name change, the curriculum videos, the giveaway, and all the great stuff that I'm gonna be having on my channel. And I will see you next time.